speaking with Colleen and Corey. We're in the mood for something sweet. Mm-mm. So we're going to make peanut butter butterscotch rice crispy fudge sandwiches. What a long name. <laughs> uh, squeeze. These are really yummy. One of my favorite holiday treats. I love the holidays, especially putting something sweet in your mouth. Mmm. What's one of your favorite holiday memories, Corey? One of my favorite holiday memories is being smacked by my Japanese grandma for being white. All the ingredients are down below in case you want to try these out. First, what you need to do is get a big pot. Just make it really low. You don't want to burn the butterscotch. Ooh, careful. That was hot. First, you need half a bag of butterscotch. Next, you need one half cup of peanut butter. Uh, 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 success. You have to constantly stir it because otherwise the stuff could burn and then it'll taste like butthole. Maybe you like that. <laughs> Stirring the pot, stirring the pot. After it's all melted, you dump in four cups of Rice crispy cereals. Stir it together. Get an eight by eight inch pan and spray it with Pam. Okay, now you want to take your Rice crispy butterscotch peanut butter mixture and put half of it in and smush down the butterscotch so that it's nice and flat. To make sure it's nice and even. So it'll look like this. And then you put it in the fridge to chill while you're making the fudge center. Don't eat it! I didn't eat You can lick the wax paper. You just got so horrified. I thought you were going to put you. the... I thought you... <laughs> Your Asian grandmother did beat you. <laughs> so put it on a low heat. You want half a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So about six ounces. Two tablespoons of butter. Does it have to be salted? Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a half a cup powdered sugar. <laughs> and one tablespoon water. I got the tablespoon. You do not want the chocolate to burn, so you have to stir constantly because it can burn. And then it's really freaking nasty, so make sure it's on low heat and stir constantly. Okie dokie. So, now you have a chocolate mixture. You're going to put the chocolate mixture on top of your already chilled base. all of your butterscotch morsels. So now it should look like this. And the last step, put the rest of your butterscotch deliciousness on the top. Cut it into little squares. So now we chop it down. This is what they look like, little fudge sandwiches. Crunchy delicious. Mmm. Send us your videos of you guys making these. And your pictures. Merry Christmas. There's toilet paper on the ground. Typical.